Okay, I had a similar question to this situation come up in the Inkscape for CNC Facebook group. So I'm just going to do a quick video with a similar scenario to replicate the issue they were having and how I, a couple ways you could do it. Okay, I've got this design here and I want to add this banner, but I have this banner that already has font in it and I want to try to add it on here, say in this position, just throwing it on there loosely. Um, obviously the easiest way to do this would be to not have the font there, break it apart, union the banner to the design first and then difference out the welcome. But I'm going to show a few different ways you could do it. So that would be the first way you could do it. You could shift control K or path, uh, break apart right here and break this path apart. Then you could select just this part. I'd change the color so I could see it. And then select the main path and do a path union. And then you can't see them there, but if I drag a box, there's my font. I can change the color. And then I could path union those, select the main design and path uh, difference and that would accomplish the goal of putting that on there without those legs and stuff sticking through. Another way you could do this, I'm, gonna, I'm just hitting Control-Z to go back, is I have my path here. You can take your Bezier tool and draw just shapes going through. Ah, I've got my snapping. I'll turn my snapping off. Sometimes it's easier on something like this. And I click here, here, here. Here, make a shape, add a fill color to it. And then I could come over here and come down here, make a shape, add a fill color, just so I can see where it's at. And then here on this leg, same thing, it's cutting through the E, make a fill color. And then same deal, I could select these, path, union them, and then select the main design, which is behind this welcome plaque, and path difference. Now, as you can see, it cut those legs out and nothing's cutting through our font. So then you could select the banner with the main design still selected and path union. So that's one other way of doing it. Uh, one more way I could do this, I'm gonna hit Control Z and go back, is, oh, Shift Control Z, put that back. One other way of doing this is to select the banner, hit Control D to duplicate it, and then I would change the color so I can see it. Hit Shift Control K or Path Break Apart, and then Path Union that. Well, they're all still selected. And then if you hold Control and hit 9. Uh, it's not actually not working at the moment. My keyboard shortcuts. But if I go path inset, that insets that path just a little bit. So the whole path is just slightly smaller than the main banner. Now I can hold shift, select my main design, hit path difference. And that will cut that out everywhere that that banner is just slightly smaller than the banner. So that when I now select this and the main design and path union, that will weld together everywhere through there. It's, it's cut the main path out everywhere that the banner is going to be just slightly smaller than the banner. So that's a third way you could accomplish that. So one, you could just, you know, break it apart, weld the banner, and then difference out the words. Two, you can draw shapes on there and difference those out of your main design and then weld your banner in. Or three, you can break your banner apart, inset it just slightly, and then difference it out and then weld your banner in. So there's three different ways you could accomplish that goal. Three different methods. Hopefully that helps somebody out. Thanks for watching.